what's up guys so we're back out on a different beaver pond today and i'm going to give you a little lowdown of what's going on tons of trees down like everywhere and this beaver lodge has been in here for a couple of years that i know of there's the beaver lodge right there so the bad part about this beaver lodge it's on the bog you can't <clears throat> There's a, literally no open runs, exposed runs anywhere around this house that I can set. But back there, you can see there were some banked ends, and those are the dens we're gonna set today. You don't always have to set in the lodge to get the beaver, just so you guys know that. Anyway, we're gonna go find those banked ends quick. All right, guys. Got our beaver, got our beaver pond here. So I'm walking along the ice here. And there are all kinds of trails of bubbles leading up to right here. And this is really yellow colored ice here. Oh, in fact, it's cracking. So that tells me there's a bank den probably going into the bog someplace. I'm gonna dig around back there and try and find it. And then <clears throat> we have the beaver lodge out there. I walked out to the beaver lodge and it is on top of the bog. None of the runs are exposed at all. So it's literally impossible to get you know out and set traps around the bog around the house but i did walk over here and as you can see there's some wide open water here i just hopped in no ice here at all nice solid banked end going up into the shoreline there also back here same situation right there under the tree roots wide open another nice banked in they actually almost got that oak tree chewed down so in, these, in this scenario, there's so many times when you can go out and not be able to set that beaver lodge, but you can still catch the beaver in these bank dens just as easily. You know, they travel back and forth from the lodge. So I'm going to gather a few sticks here quick and then set one of these traps up. All right. I'm going to set one of these bank dens for you guys. Ice is very thin around here, but it's not too bad because the water's, well, obviously, right here by shore, it's shallow. So, put all my stuff down here quick. Get in the water. Ugh. Here. Ugh. All right. This run comes in from here, standing on the bottom. Rock hard the bottom is sandy. So I'm gonna do here. Got a couple guide sticks I'm gonna put in. Here we go. I'm just gonna try to find the sides or sides of the run. One side right there. Push it down the bottom nice. It's nice when you have a good soft, you know, like clay bottom. Because you can get those sticks in there a long ways, you know. Okay. Other side of the run, right here. There we go. That's in there. That's in there. Now I'm going to put my trap down in here. need a new trigger on this trap pretty soon it's down to one trigger I'd be, if I get a beaver in it tomorrow there's a good chance that trigger will be broken off to be honest with you do that wire my top safety up take your safeties off guys if you don't you won't sleep at night thinking about what you did or did not do run the tra trap right through there Get this trap position right between. There we go. Dead center of that run. Push this down the mud a little ways. There we go. I'm gonna wire the trap off to this tree right here. You guys probably can't see that, but there we go. Wired it off to that tree, and now I have my little stick. 
most important part. There we go. I make I always make sure this trap is centered perfectly. Okay. So we'll stick his in. Shove it down the bottom. There. There we go, man. The trap is set. Ready for action. Hopefully it'll be floating tomorrow and we'll have a beaver in it. All right, a little quick recap before we leave here, guys. Beaver Lodge is out there. Nothing set in the Beaver Lodge. Bank den set right there. Grab my axe quick. <clears throat> Bank den set there. Bank den set right there. These are these ones are wide, like wide open. A lot of activity. And then where I showed you this bubble trail earlier, I did find a nice steep bank den right back here as well. So. Right? Yeah. Let's make sure everything's still in place here. Okay. All right, guys. We'll be back tomorrow for this check. Hey, hey, hey. We are back. Um, kind of. Stuff falling off my sled here. <clears throat> there we go. We are at the first check on this beaver pond. We set up those three bank dens last yesterday. But it's just get a double. So I'm pretty sure there's just two adults in here somewhere. There could be some small ones. I mean, we're gonna find out today. If there, if there are small ones in here, today is the day that I would have one. Generally, anyway. Well, there's a beaver right there. There's a beaver right there, you guys. Oh, I can see the, I can already see the trap sticking out of the water. There's a beaver right there, right by the head. Boom. That is awesome. Well, it'd be great to get them both right here today. <clears throat> this, uh, this particular 330 hasn't been set in a long time. Um, I actually, I got this from a friend of mine named Mike good buddy of mine he doesn't trap anymore and he gifted me a bunch of traps I thought I dug I thought I dug this out of my arsenal of traps from a long time ago but I didn't look at that this old 330 just put it on this big beaver right by the head too what a catch you guys this is awesome I'm gonna get this guy out of here big beaver too oh yeah big beaver big beaver oh look at that Nice. This one will make this one will make blanket. I thought they were two-year-olds, but that's a little bit bigger than two-year-old. Perfect head catch on that beaver, you guys. Look at that. Awesome. Well, that's the first set. It's only it's like 28 out today, I think. So we're gonna go check the other. This is the, the the one that I thought would least produce a beaver. How did I get that guy too? Let me think here. That's the trap set like that. I got that beaver coming out. I got that beaver coming out of the run. I can tell by the by the trigger placement. Well, let's go check this down here. I mean, that one does not look disturbed really at all. And this one really doesn't look disturbed either, you guys. Huh. Well, let's go check her out. Think I'm, there should have been, I mean, should have been air bubbles or something down here if I caught anything. Nope, nothing in that one. And this one looks to be about the same. Just guessing, but nothing, nothing in here that looks like a beaver's been through it. It's funny how it happens sometimes. 
Yep. Right. Nothing in that 330. Well, there you go. The two mega runs that had no ice over them at all, had nothing in the traps. And then, the one old school 330 has a big one right by the head. That's really cool, you guys. Well, I'm gonna get this beaver out of the trap here, you guys, and reset this. And then we'll be back here in a couple days to check them one more time, try and get to the big beaver. We are back for our second and final check on this beaver lodge back here. We were here the other day, pulled one really big blanket beaver out of a bank den. And then we got some snow yesterday. And now hopefully today we pull the other blanket beaver out of a bank den. That is the plan. Three runs out here. A little reeky out. Nothing in the lodge. Out in the bog. Can't get to it. Anyway, gonna go check these bank dens. Hopefully pull another beaver out. Yeah, I like it. Let's do it. All right, you guys. That is wide open today. It looks like. I don't know why, but it is. All right, we got our big beaver back here the other day in this set. We will go check this one first. See if I can maybe fall in or something. Wouldn't that be great? No, it wouldn't be great, would it? That was just a joke. Um, what do we got here? Um, I think that's my, might be my steak, I don't know. Um, um, hmm. I don't know that game, man. Oh. Oh. Nope, not today. Not in this trap anyway there, ladies and gentlemen. But the other two were absolutely excellent bank dens, wide open. I mean, you can... Can't get any better than that. Yeah. that. Check this guy up. So. fully expect to have something in one of these bank dens. I mean, these guys were wide open. I'm gonna go swimming, I can already tell you guys that right now. Look at this. This looks like it's wide open. So, I'm gonna go in the water here any second now, you guys. Don't be surprised when I do, because I won't be. Oh. I haven't gone through yet, but that's cool. Oh, there's that. It's a nice steak. There's not really any ice underneath me, that's for sure. Grab that. Nothing. Guys, that's 0 for 2. 0 for 2. Okay. Oh, 
you know. One thing my dad always taught me though. All right, it's the third set. Hopefully there's a beaver in here. If not, well, that's all right. You know, we went 0 for 2 on those traps. My dad always told me, you know, if the beaver don't go into the traps, you can't catch them. So that's some, that's some valuable information that he taught me that I took to heart, you know. Some days I'm like, oh, I'm not catching anything. Why is that, you know? Am I a bad trapper? No, that's just not how it is, you know? You guys? You guys? I think I got them. I think we got... There's this... So... So, this is what you do. This is how I find out a lot of times if I have a beaver in a trap. You guys have seen me do this. If I get up to this trap and I hit this stick and it just doesn't move, that means there's nothing in there. When you hit this stick sideways, what happens is that trap moves on the stick, and if there's a lot of weight in that trap, it will move back and it will make this stick move, watch. See that? Boom. There it was, that means there's something in here, whether it be a aardvark or something. Maybe it's a, gosh, maybe it's a small beaver. Maybe there's a family in here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to find out in three, two, one. Oh boy. Look at that thing. Big beaver. Big, big beaver. There it is, you guys. Sweet. We got both the beaver out of this colony for these guys. And that is a big beaver, too. Big old tail on it. Got that sucker coming. Got it coming from the lodge. He might have been carrying a stick even. Look at that. That stick out of there for him. All right. Boom, baby. Another perfect head catch, you guys. These 330s are deadly. This happens to be a brand new Duke from last year. But these beaver get caught in these 330s by the head like that. Um, more often than not, it instantly kills them. It, I mean, you know, it breaks their neck is what happens. Very fast, very accurate kill trap is what they are. Oh, you guys, I was sweating. I'm not going to lie. One trap, two trap, nothing. And then the Hail Mary again for the third and final beaver, beaver trap bank den. That is awesome. Well, there you go. There's the lodge out there. That's some proof, you guys. Don't always have to set the lodge to catch these beaver.